riding in the direction of uh, sky. And everybody said to me, you need to see sky. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Back in the village I uh, pulled uh, some money from an ATM, some cash money. If it is uh, needed that I have to pay someone with cash if uh, the fuel pump is uh, refusing my card again. And uh, having uh, drawing that money from the ATM, uh, I also fetched Scottish pounds instead of English pounds or United Kingdom pounds. Uh, I've read on the internet that if you want to exchange uh, Scottish pounds back to Euros when you are back on the mainland, then uh, that could give difficulties. Then I have to be aware of it that if I'm going uh, back to the UK that I can exchange them for uh, normal UK pounds. I'm driving in the direction of Torin, in where you, we, you should have the Torin pools. And according to various people, those pools should be beautiful. So, let's do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. A sheep crossing my path. The road is quite good. It has new tarmac. Not everywhere, but most of it has new tarmac. These are the, the, the touring pools. Fantastic. Everybody needs to take here in Portree, this is Portree, because of the houses 
with all the fancy colors in the harbor, which is a very famous picture. Nice bunch of houses with all kinds of fancy colors. It's also a very touristic town. I crossed it through the center and uh, a lot of people is uh, crawling there through the center, visiting all kinds of shops and so forth. It's cozy, it looks nice. This is a dead end road ending up in the middle of nowhere. And I have planned it, but I have no clue for what reason. Uh, I see on uh, the garment that it uh, ends up in uh, somewhere. <laughs> So I will find out. Oh, it's bit and it is also busy here. Why it's so busy? What is that? What is so special? Ah, oh, I'm going to find out. Oh, we get a traffic queue. A queue here on sky in the middle of nowhere. Look at it. A queue, a real queue. Caravans, campers, whoa, 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 whoa. On this isolated area. Yeah, and at the end I have to turn around and go back, yeah, as everybody is likely doing because it ends up nowhere oh yeah no 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 now I know the reason ferry pools yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it ends up at the ferry pools that's the reason someone on Facebook said to me forget the ferry pools the torrent pools are way more interesting and beautiful and also less crowded. Well, if I look at all the campers and all that traffic coming up here, then very likely the ferry pools are a bit crowded. Car park, car, motorbikes, three pounds. Three pounds. <laughs> okay, ferry pools. And from here I need to go walking, probably. Between those two cars. That's it. But now something else. Am I really going to do that? Could very well be, I'm not. Because it is over there. Look at the walk. I don't feel tempty to do that walk to do that walk. And leave everything on the bike behind. I think I have seen it already from up here. What a people. And I th also think it's not allowed to put a drone up. I think the guy on Facebook was right. The Torin pools are nicer and much more isolated and without any visitors. Very quiet over there. And here it is, one huge tourist attraction. The mountains are beautiful. That's absolutely the case. The traffic here is a mess. It's a single track road, very narrow, a lot of potholes. 
and there is a lot of traffic that, that from people that want to visit the ferry pools that they are crawling and uh, maneuvering back and forth to let each other pass and it is a mess. Great. Right.